Hey guys, welcome back to Firewood on the Hill. My name is Matt. Today, it's been a nasty, nasty rainy day, but it's turned out to be very, very pretty. I don't know how long the sun's gonna last because it's supposed to rain tonight and through tomorrow. Um, but hey, I wanna take what I can get. So I found some, uh, 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 I hope it's a full load of uh, oak. Um, some guy posted it on Facebook and I said, hey man, you have, you, do you have a way to load me? He's like, sure do. So I'm going to go pick it up. So this was just my day off and I usually don't go pick up. I mean, I, I pick up some wood like if my tree service guy calls, but this came from a random guy. I just happened to have the day off. So I went down there. Um, it was about a 30 minute ride and 30 minute went back. But what's cool is these guys are just starting a tree business as well and they need a place to bring their wood. So they said they might be bringing me a load next next week. So hopefully that works out. If that does, we got another tree guy um, to bring some wood. We are back, almost back to the house. And of course it started raining. I told y'all uh, the weather was taking a break, but I knew it was coming back and it's gonna be nasty. So hopefully I can get this uh, load dumped before it starts downpouring. I mean, right now it's kind of a, a light drizzle or a light rain, but we'll see how it goes. This is the load that we just picked up. It's a nice oak. It's not in the big pieces that I usually get, but I take what I can get. All right, guys, let's dump it. All right, guys, so it's raining. So I had Sadie in the garage videotaping this. Um, Y'all see cute little Dixie sitting up there, not knowing what's going on. But she made YouTube, I guess. But yeah, guys, it was raining. And um, that's why we're so far away from the dump trailer when we're dumping this. We got the trailer dumped right here, guys. We probably have a quart of oak right here. Um, it, was, it was a nice score. Y'all, the weather is bipolar. Y'all saw that when I was dumping it, it was raining, real dark. Now it's sunny. I mean, I could see the, the wood yard. It's all in the sun now, it's crazy. But yeah, I'm not taking a chance of uh, coming out here and cutting and getting rained on again, so. I'm gonna go in here and do some sharpening on some chains. So I have my still uh, 25 inch chain and I think I have one or two of my organ chains that I gotta sharpen. So let's see how we do this. We are back now in the garage, gonna sharpen some chains. I got a nice close up for you guys to see. Dixie, uh, <laughs> you can see Dixie. The girls were playing with chalk on the driveway and, it's, and of course it's been raining on and off. And Dixie lay down in the chalk and got orange chalk over her. So that's why she's got orange chalk on her. But anyways, let's get to sharpening. All right, this is my 20 inch chain right now. We're gonna do this one. Let's back it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do this time, guys, is I had a lot of comments saying that they adjust it once and then they just um, go through and sharpen all of them so they're all the same size. I'm going to try that this time to see how it goes. Turn it a little bit more. There we go. So, y'all see how this thing came off? It only does it on this side. See, 
you can see some of them are a little bit shorter. Some of them are a little bit longer. You can tell by whenever it comes down how far the tooth moves back. I usually do three, sometimes four, just depending on how, uh, like if it's really tight on the wheel, I'll do four just because I know um, it needs to go back, shave back a little bit more. You'll see how that one went back pretty far. I try to do three and not four. I think four definitely gets it the sharpest, but I'm trying not to take as much metal off these. Obviously I can get more sharpenings out of them. You see how that one's not even hitting out? It's like barely hitting. I'm gonna have to adjust that one up a little bit. Back. And what I like about this uh, sharpener, guys, it even gets the gullet, which is what a lot of people like Billy Ray um, and other sharpener guys that say, you know, you gotta get the gullet. That really makes a difference, and it does. This chain is the actually the less aggressive chain from Oregon. You know, it's got these big old rakers, big flat rakers. And I'll tell you what, when you sharpen these chains and you put down the rakers, they, they jerk a lot. At least in my experience. When I get done with this guy, this side right here, guys, I'll show you what I mean by gets the gullet. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about. I do. I don't know how long this, uh, Sharpening this is gonna last, but when I went out, bought this thing, I went and got another one. Yep. Uh, didn't last long because I hate I hate when you buy something and then it goes out of stock in like a year, and you go get a replacement part or something, and it doesn't. They don't have it, and you're just SRL. All right, that's all on that one, you guys. So I'll get you under here. So y'all can see right there is the gullet. Y'all can see where it sharpens it right there. Look how nice and smooth that is. And like this side right here, I, I've sharpened this chain before with this, but y'all see how it's got in the gullet right there. Like, I mean, this machine does it all. Look how clean that cut is right there. It's super nice. And with a, a hand file, I feel like you have to get a bigger hand file to get the glow down there um, because a smaller file only gets kind of in the middle. But yeah. All right guys, let's... so now that we've done uh, the back side, we're gonna spin this guy around. And we just line it up to the 25 on this side. And we're doing the same thing on the side where the silver blade touches that's the tooth that i'm sharpening right. and what you do first thing you just look at it 
I need to move it up a little bit because it's not quite hitting the tooth. Still gonna move it up. That's it. Hitting the front of the tube, so I gotta move it up a little bit more. There we go. And this side would actually be easier to see. For this one. So everyone gets you a nice side view of the gullet here. Watch this right here. There you go. It goes all the way down there. Oh yeah, it's nice and sharp. And on a new chain, you can really see the difference. Um, but on this chain, I've already, I've already sharpened this chain, so it's got the gullet already. Actually, you know what? I might have a new chain to show you guys. I'm gonna say I have a new chain. All right. So there you go. You see, I mean, it's not curved, curved. It's curved, but it's not like super curved. And then you come look at something like this and you can see there's a much bigger curve there. Let's see if I can get them side by side here. There we go. You see how it gets right there in the middle and on down? But yeah, man, this, this thing does it all. Other than, um, other than taking down the rakers, Go ahead and uh, finish the rest of this. So, I mean, if y'all see this, this thing is razor sharp. Super sharp. Super sharp. Now we did that 20 inch organ chain. Let's go ahead and throw that uh, 25 inch steel chain on there. But we'll speed through this and see how fast it, or how long it takes me to um, sharpen the steel chain. Let's just say that. 
So it took me six minutes um, to file that. So it took six minutes to file that and just look how sharp that is. Look how sharp that is. I mean, that is a sharp edge right there. So yeah, now y'all see up close and personal how I do it, how this um, this uh, grinder works. Um, this is the first, I guess this is the first sharpening on this chain, the steel chain, so I don't have to bring down the rakers. Um, I'll probably bring the organ chains rakers down just a little bit, um, but it was pretty aggressive last time, so I might just try it first before I do that. But yeah, guys. Uh, so we got some wood yard. We got some wood in the wood yard, and we got some chain sharpening. Again, it's pretty again. So we'll see how long that lasts. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.